hello guys welcome to engineers academy do show your support by liking and subscribing engineers academy that will help to promote my channel now let's solve this these two problems which says that a frame abc is supported in part by cable dbe that passes through a frictionless ring at b knowing that the tension in the cable is 385 newton determine the components of the force exerted by the cable on the support at d and 290 problem says that for the frame and cable of problem 289 determine the components of the force exerted by the cable on the support at e so we have to find the components of the tension in this cable at d and e respectively for both the problems now as we can see that this is one continuous cable and it is passing through this ring b and ring b is frictionless right so in order to find the components of the tension and this rope at d we need to cut the rope somewhere here so i will cut the rope so let's say if i cut the rope somewhere here so the tension in the rope is going to be in this direction remember that, that the rope can always pull so if you cut the rope so this will be the direction of the tension at uh, point d and if if you are looking from this side then the tension will be in this direction so since we want to find the components at d so we need to show the tension uh, the tension direction uh, away from this point d since the rope can only pull so as we know that um, the tension db since the direction is from d to b so we will write that the tension db this is the cartesian vector we can say that the tension from d to b is equal to the magnitude of the tension from d to b multiply by lambda the unit vector from d to b and now the magnitude is given the, the tension magnitude in the cable is 385 newton so we know that this is 385 so i will write that this is 385 times lambda 385 and this is equal to 385 and now the unit vector is the position vector from d to b divided by the magnitude of the position vector from d to b now d to b is the position vector and the position vector for d to b will tell us the position of this point b relative to d so we need to write the position vector from d to b so i will write the position vector from d to b now as i have explained in the previous video so we will write the position vector from d to b in such a way that we will start moving from d along the x y and z direction in order to reach this point b so to reach this point b we need to travel some distance this distance in the positive z parallel to the positive z then we will move downward this is parallel to the y-axis the motion is only allowed uh, parallel to the x y and z axis so first we will travel this distance then we will travel in the downward direction and then we will travel this direction so we will reach this point b so now what is this distance so this whole distance is from o to a or we can say from b to c this distance is 600 mm so from d we need to travel this distance this distance is 600 minus this so we need to travel 600 minus 280 mm distance in the positive z so i will write that this is 600 minus 280 mm in the positive z that is in the positive k let me write that this distance is 600 minus 280 mm so first in order to reach that point b from d we need to travel this distance so we will reach somewhere here then we will move downward so so this distance is 510 mm so we need to travel 510 mm in the negative y this direction is the positive y so we need to travel in the negative y 510 mm distance so the negative y is in the negative j so i will write minus 
510 mm in the negative j so we will reach this point a so from point a we need to travel 480 mm parallel to the x axis and that is in the positive x this is towards the positive x so 480 mm in the positive x so 4 plus 480 i so this is the position vector from d to b so now the magnitude of the position vector from d to b will be using the pythagoras theorem we will take the square of all the components of the position vector from d to b so 480 square plus 510 square plus 600 minus 280 square this will give us the magnitude so 480 square plus 510 square plus 600 minus 280 square this gives us the magnitude of the position vector from d to b is 770 mm remember that this is also in mm Now 600, 600 minus 280, this is 320. Remember that this is 320 mm. So now we know the position vector from D to B and its magnitude. So we will use, we will continue with this equation. So I can write in the Cartesian vector tension DB vector is equal to 385 multiply by the position vector the position vector is 480 i minus 510 j and plus 320 k and the magnitude is 770 mm remember that that this is in mm all the units all the components are in mm and this is in mm so mm will cancel out with mm and we will be left with the units of uh, newton this 385 is in newtons and remember that the magnitude of the position vector from d to b tells us 770 mm so this is the direct distance between d and b and that distance is 770 mm so now we will write the tension from d to b this will be we need to multiply this with each component and then we need to divide that by 770 so we can write that 385 into 480 divided by 770 i minus so now let's find all these components of the tension from d to b so 385 multiplied by 480 divided by 770 so this is 240 plus 240i then multiply by 510 everything remains the same just this change is 510 so 255 this is minus 255j and 320 this is plus 160k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the tension acting from d to b and the component along the x-axis is 240 the component along the negative y is 255 and the component along the positive z is 160 so we can show these components let me show all these components here so one of the component is in the positive i so this is the positive i direction so i will keep it at d then one of the this is plus 250 so this was in the positive x so one is in the negative j so in the negative j so this will be this this is in the negative j that is in the downward direction and we have one component in the positive k so the positive k So this is in the positive k so we can say that this is the tension dbx this is the component of the tension d to b uh, since this is the magnitude there is no need to write the vector so t db in the z 
and this component is t d b in the y and this is in the negative y so this negative sign tells us that this is in the negative y so we can say that t d b the x component is 240 t and this is in newton remember this all is in newton and t d b j uh in the y is minus 255 newton and t d b uh, in the z is 160 newton let's write plus so these are the component of the tension at d so these are these three components which were required now we were now in the second problem we were asked to find the components of this tension at point e so now we will cut the rope somewhere here so let me erase all these now the tension will be from uh, from e to b like this so this will be t e b and the magnitude will remain the same since this is one continuous rope so the tension will remain the same everywhere so we can again we can write that uh, t e b cartesian vector so t e b Cartesian vector will be equal to the magnitude. The magnitude is again 385. So 385 times the unit vector from E to B. This time the, the tension is acting from E towards B. So the unit vector will be from E to B. And again we can say that this will be 385 and the position vector will be from E to B divided by the magnitude of the position vector from E to B. Now the only task is to find the position vector from E to B. Again, we will start moving from E uh, towards B along the X, Y and Z axis. So first of all, I will write that the position vector from E to B is equal to. Now from E, we can travel in, in many several ways. So I will start moving in the negative Y direction right so i will reach this particular point so i need to travel 400 mm in the negative y so i will write 400 mm in the negative j so minus 400 j so i will reach somewhere here then i will travel this distance so this distance will be 480 minus 210 so i will reach point c and this distance is in the positive x so i will write uh 480 minus 210 in the positive i so i will reach here at point c then from point c i need to travel this distance in the positive z so this is 600 mm in the positive z so i will write plus 600 k now let me write all this in order so e position vector from e to b so 480 minus 210 480 minus 210 is 270 so plus 270 i minus 400 j plus 600 k so this is the position vector from e to b so this means that the distance between point E and B uh, in the X is 270 mm, right? This means that this point B is 270 mm away from E in the direction of X. And point B is away from E in the direction of Y by 400 mm. So this distance between point E and B parallel to the Y is 400 mm. And similarly, the distance between point E and B parallel to the Z axis is 600 mm. So this this is all the information which the position vector gives us. So this is the position vector from E to B. And again, we can find the magnitude of the position vector. So this is 270 square plus 400 square plus 600 square. 270 square plus 400 square plus 600 square. This gives me... 770 
so again we got the direct distance between e and b equals 770 mm this is 770 mm and this is 770 mm so this is also 770 mm right so now again we have to write the position vector and its magnitude so t e b is equal to 385 and the position vector from e to b is plus 270 i minus 400 j plus 600 k and the units are in mm remember and divided by 770 mm so again i will multiply and divide each of these components by this 385 and this so this will be 300 the i component will be uh 385 multiplied by uh, 270 divided by 770 this gives us 135 so plus 135 i and then multiply by 400 that is minus 400 remember so we will write minus uh, 200 j and 600 plus 300 k so this is the tension from e to b now these are the components of the tension in the wire at e so we can write that t e b x is plus 135 newton this is in newton t e b y is minus 200 newton and t e b z is plus 300 newton now again we can show that t e b x is 135 newton and this is in the positive x so so we will have t e b x like this this is t e b x similarly t e b y is negative this will be t e b y and t e b z is 300 that is positive so this is So this is how we can find the components of this tension at point D and E. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe and like this video for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston.